What is going on everybody? David here and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time I want to share and show y'all my Ultimate Warrior collection which consists of clothing wear, loose figures, uh, DVDs, and mitten box and mitten card figures as well. Um, growing up Ultimate Warrior is and currently still is um, my favorite wrestler of all time. And um, growing up, you know, it was just his persona, his character, and his look in general is what, you know, caught my attention, you know. Although I, I enjoyed and, and liked Hogan, but I loved The Ultimate Warrior more because it was just the how he was and the energy that he brought. And even though he wasn't the best and probably one of the worst wrestlers <laughs> when it comes to... Uh, um, wrestling skills and stuff, um, but it's just that his personality, his character in general, um, is what uh, got me, you know. And I know a lot of people, uh, especially the old school wrestling fans and uh, fans in general that grew up and watched uh, um, the 90s wrestling that may not be re watching it now. They were huge fans of the Ultimate Warrior as well, and they'll tell you that, you know. And um, not very many people talk about the Stings or the Hulk Hogan's, the Ric Flair's. They always say Ultimate Warrior was my favorite one, you know, growing up watching wrestling. And it just goes to show you how much of an impact that the Warrior had on us as fans in general, you know, as kids uh, growing up and watching them. So with that being said... Uh, Let's go ahead and start out with the clothing wear. Now, a lot of this stuff I got was gifted to me. Um, I bought myself, um, stuff I got for Christmas, my birthday, you know, things in general like that. So, let's go ahead and start with the uh, clothing wear. And uh, the first one that I wanted to show you, I got from, my wife got me for, I want to see my birthday. Is he a birthday or Christmas? One of the two. But this is my first Ultimate Warrior shirt ever that I have. And I wore this all the time. I mean, when I mean all the time, I mean like not every day, but I wear it at least once or twice a month, you know. I wear it to work. I wear it to run errands with. You know, if I just have a shirt that I want to throw on, this would be a shirt that I throw on, you know, around the house. So... Yeah, this is this is my favorite shirt or my favorite wrestling shirt that I have currently, and I got a bunch of them. So, I'm looking to add another one to the collection. And the second one I got, um, <clears throat> uh, my wife got this for me because uh, we love going to live shows, um, and each time we go to a live show, at least once a year, we try to. Uh, get a new shirt and this is one of the shirts that she got me and um this is my wrestlemania 5 shirt with the ultimate warrior versus ravishing recruit and this was for the intercontinental championship and what an incredible match this was you know even though rick rude pretty much carried this whole match and made the warrior look good Despite his limit, limited abilities, it was still a great match regardless, you know. And um, <clears throat> even though he lost, but still, this was probably one of my favorite matches of his, you know, that I enjoy watching. All right. And last but not least, this was kind of a bundle pack that she got on sale, my wife did. And um, each year we try to get a, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Each year we try to get a ugly Christmas sweater to add to our ugly Christmas sweater collection that we wear, you know, uh, every December. And so this was one of the ones that she got. And one year we got a wrestling theme. And, uh, of course, I got the Ultimate Warrior. So, very happy to have this. Um, I usually start wearing this around probably the first week before Christmas. <laughs> And uh really love this shirt or sweater sweatshirt. And it, it came with a, a beanie and uh 
such an awesome, awesome set. You know, I love wearing this set. So yeah, that's that's my clothing wear. You know, always looking to add some more stuff. All right, so next up, we are going to be going over the uh, uh, DVD portion of the uh, video. Go ahead and try to. There you go. So first up is the first ever release of uh, from WWE Home Videos, uh, the self destruction of the Ultimate Warrior, and uh, I know a lot of people bash this DVD, and this pretty much this <laughs> it's good in a certain extent, but it's bad because it just kind of sheds a negativity of how he was around certain people. I'm pretty sure not everybody feels this way about him when he was alive. Rest in peace. But um, it just basically just people just uh, throwing him under the bus and shedding a negative light about him. You know, which is understandable. But to make a whole DVD about it, <laughs> yeah, it, that's crazy. But uh, anyways, but I do still enjoy this for the most part because I like watching his interviews portions and watching how uh, certain things in his career were, came about and who worked with him and you know how they was able to work with him and how they wasn't able to work with them but but other than that for the most part I, I you know I, I liked it you know I still have it in my collection because one it's the ultimate warrior and two um, it's one of my first DVDs um, that I bought you know to start that kick-started my uh, my collection my my WWE collection so, good stuff, you know. I do love the extras. It's just complete. It's got the insert and everything. So, yep. And the second DVD that I have is the Ultimate Warrior, Ultimate Warrior Collection, the Ultimate Collection 3D disc set. Three, 3D, three disc set. And, um, Great stuff, you know. They don't make these sets like they used to. So, got the beautiful inserts in it, you know. This is. Sorry about the glare. Great stuff right there. Just love the uh, artwork, you know, and everything. And they, they made this set kind of like, like, it's like it's persona, like the way how this is and everything that looks, the psychedelic looking colors and stuff, you know, very colorful. So, sorry about the glare. Good set. This here is the, the third uh, DVD Blu-ray set that uh, they put out of him. This is a, his actual documentary. Um, always believe um, this also came with a shirt I think if you ordered like online or something um, it came with a shirt um, I never did get the shirt I would love to have the shirt if possible if I can get one um, <clears throat> this set is a uh, is uh, amazing too and this makes up for the self destruction to be honest you know it really does it makes up for it um, it does come with a little poster in here it's a two disc set and um Do you like to get this framed eventually? And uh, this was released uh, shortly after his passing. So uh, when, when the warrior passed away, I mean, it, yeah, that that hurt me so bad. I could not believe that. I mean, I cried. I cried. And it's just, I don't usually have a sentimental attachment to a lot of these wrestlers. Only very few I do. But he was the main one that I did. And today at my age, it's, it still hurts to know that he's still gone. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it's just, I can't. It's understandable why he passed. Because it ran, it ran in the family. You know, his grandfather passed at a young age, his dad passed at a young age, and and he did too, so. But anyways, uh, it's my DVD set collection of him, so very happy to have those in the collection. 
So next up, we are going to be taking a look at um, his uh, our loose figures. So the first three that I want to show off are the WWF Hasbro's that came out from 1990 all the way to 1997. So here we have the uh, Series One Hasbro Ultimate Warrior. Now this guy he had the uh, jumping feature. Now why they gave him a jumping feature, I have no clue, <laughs> no clue. So, but still a great figure. Nonetheless, and uh, then the second one was uh, gifted to me by our fellow YouTuber and friend uh, Kevin Coleman, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, and uh, so he had picked this up, and I told him, I was like, hey, I want that, and I'm like, give it to me, <laughs> as a joke, and uh, on one of our trades, he, he just tossed this in you know he didn't have to do that so Kevin I greatly appreciate it this will be cherished in my collection forever um, even though it could use an update but I'm not going to update it because it was gifted by you so he will stay where he is and then um, one, of, one of the unique things is that this is a gorilla press slam and over time you could and a lot of these happen this way when you do that it tends to go all the way around 360. Some of them do. I guess it depends on how much you played with it. But and then I don't remember what series this came out in. It was probably one of the later series. This was his last figure that he got. Um, very interesting gimmick. It just why it's like this. I have no clue, <laughs> but it's uh, very cool, and um, the first original figure that we got him is an LJN, and I don't have that one, but I know that my buddy, Uber Hulk, um, if you haven't checked out his channel, his link will be in the description below, um, he's got one, and he's the only person I know collector-wise that's uh, that collects the WWE figures, um, LJNs. That is, um, has an Ultimate Warrior, so he got a hell of a hell of a deal on that one. And so, that is a great piece that I want in my collection. Hopefully, I can get one one day. If not, hey, it is what it is. But yeah, these are the Hasbro's that he has that um <clears throat> that came out of him. Very proud of that. And um, I wanted to show you real quick that Mattel did a uh, retro style figure. And the one I have is meant on card. So this is the retro style Ultimate Warrior that has uh, Mattel came out with. And I'm uh, very happy to have this on card. <clears throat> I may open it at one point. I don't know yet. But uh, as of right now, he will stay on mock. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got uh, three more Lucy's. And um, the first two are Jack Specifics. And um, the first uh, Jack Specifics figure that came out, came out in 1996, it was Series 1. It was right when uh, Jax took over the license. <laughs> It was an ugly figure, but I do want it. Um, sadly to say, I don't have Whip. Never had it. So, loose or on card, I would like to have that in my collection. <clears throat> but I do have this one. And uh, this was gifted to me along with the second one I'll show here in a minute. Um, great figure for its time. Um, the head sculpt is okay. Um, I did watch a little clip um, that they did say that they uh, used a, a scan technology and they said this is about as close as they got to at the time, you know. So, you got to remember back then, this is the, like the, I'm going to say late 90s, early 2000s, you know, should I say, when, these, when this body mold and these types of head sculpts came out. 
excuse me. And, um, but like I said, it, it, it's okay for its time, you know, and, uh, they pretty much used this head sculpt, you know, for, for all his figures for the most part, except for one. And so, but pretty much all the other figures that they, that Jack's put out of him used the exact same head sculpt. The only thing that's different is, uh, the paint, face paint and the hair color texture, you know, but overall, this is a incredible figure for its time, you know, still holds up. And, uh, the next one is this one. This one was also gifted to me. And uh, big shout outs to my friend Daryl. You know, he's the one that gave these to me. He knows I'm a huge Warrior fan. And uh, rest in peace, Daryl. And I uh, miss you, brother. And I really do uh, appreciate these. You know, these will always be in my collection. But, anyways, uh, this is a different head sculpt right here. This is like the only other head sculpt that he had with this particular figure. And, um, this was around the time when he, in the second run, where he came back, um, shortly he started wearing singlets. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's ever been explained. If it did, if it was explained, I don't remember the reason behind it. But anyways, um, but I always liked the singlets that he wore, you know, even though it was a little odd. But when he wore these, he always had, they were always, uh, colorful. You know, they were always, uh. Um, got some amazing designs to it, you know, and this was one of my favorite ones. I don't ever actually recall him wrestling in this singlet or seeing him wrestle in this singlet, but, um, in toy form, I love it because, you know, one, huge Terminator fan, and two, huge Warrior fan. So to be able to have both mixed in like this, that's amazing to me. It's incredible. So, I love that figure. And the next uh, Lucy I have, I, I did originally have it on card, but I wanted to take it out. And uh, this was one of his basics. It wasn't his one of his first ones. <laughs> Excuse me. Not one of his first ones, but um, it's a Mattel basic Ultimate Warrior. This was from his 1988 Survivor Series year. Now, the only thing I don't like Mattel's versions is the hard plastic that they give them as you can tell with the the jack specifics um i always love them because they always have the soft goods you know when it comes to stuff like this the string this the uh, tassels and things like that you know they were all soft goods <clears throat> mattel um to tell recently which i'll show you here in a little bit uh, they never made soft goods in all of the warriors figures so that was always frustrating. But, um, but yeah, this is a basics, um, 1988 Survivor Series Ultimate Warrior. And I do want to get his WrestleMania 5 uh, basic figure. <clears throat> so, I, the goal is to try to add all of them, you know, if I can. You know, I know it's going to, some of them going to cost an arm and a leg, but majority of them uh they're pretty attainable you know reasonably priced but anyway so, so let's go ahead and remove these guys out the way and uh, let's go ahead and get to the mint the rest of the mint on card and box figures so the first one i want to show you is uh I got this pop, Ultimate Warrior pop. Yep, boy. So, I really like this one because it reminisces me of the uh, the old Hasbro. You know, you know, I always thought that was uh, pretty cool. The, the side of it, and the back of it. So, amazing stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and go over the basics real quick. 
So here, here's a, here's another basics for the the eighty eight Survivor Series one. Um, like I mentioned, he did come. This is like another release. I think this this one was had a different card back to it. I think it had a white white card back. I think, but um, I think that was like sixty five series sixty five or something. So it was basically somewhat. I guess you could say a re release. Then we have this one that came with the uh, uh, championship belt, the white uh, wing eagled championship belt. And that's another thing about the Warriors that he always changed his straps. It's like he would have a blue one, yellow one, a white one. You know, it was very unique. You know, when it came to when it, to his uh, belts, whether he had the uh, intercontinental or the um, world heavyweight championship. So. All right, so we got the basics out the way. Um, so now let's go ahead and do the mint on card stuff. Uh, the first one I want to show, um, I did get this for uh, Christmas. Uh, my wife got this for me. This is my first warrior figure to get in my, my collection, and that is the Elite Flashback figure and uh this was his SummerSlam 92 outfit and um i want to point out that um when they did figures for him when he came back in 92 that head scope was the only one that they used and then um i wanted to show you guys real quick that mattel was notorious for using this head sculpt for all his figures too um, like I said, the only thing that would be different was his paint job and stuff. But other than that, this was the head sculpt that he had always used, that they would use for his figures. So, very happy about this. This was his SummerSlam 92 outfit when he uh, wrestled, um, <clears throat> when he wrestled uh, Macho Man for the belt. I'll set that over there. And then, uh, this is one I picked up that when they had at Target. It was his Hall of Fame figure. And, uh, as you can tell, like I said, that's the same head sculpt they used. There. I really like that one. Um, and then, this is one I think I picked up at Walmart. Can't remember if it was Walmart or Target. But uh this was the uh defining moments uh figure. This is when he uh him and the Monster Man teamed up and they um were known as the Ultimate Maniacs and uh which made sense. <laughs> made sense for why they were called the Ultimate Maniacs. Um I wanted to point out, like I said, when I mentioned about his singlets, uh, like I said, love the singlets that he wore. You know, even though it was a little odd that he would wear one, didn't need to, but when he did, you know, he made it count. So if you look at the different details of all the singlets that he had, then I mean, it was a sight to see. And um, another one I picked up. Scoot these over real quick. Um, when Target were closing, I got this for like six bucks, luckily. And this is um, when he won uh, the championship belt from Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 6. So, this is an amazing figure. I really love that. You could tell it's like almost like a basic. You know, the only thing that's different is that he has the, uh, the rotation of the legs right there. No. But yes, sir. And last but not least, this is the latest addition to the collection. It's only fitting that I close out with this figure. This is Legends figure. This really hits the feels because when the Ultimate Warrior was announced to the Hall of Fame, 
I was ecstatic. And I didn't know what to do or say because I couldn't believe that after all these years that they finally reconciled and was able to come to terms. You know, water under the bridge, you know, and uh, was able to put him in the Hall of Fame. Whether he deserved it or not, that's up to y'all. <laughs> but um, he did leave his mark on the WWE, you know, and um, say what you want, but, you know, it just he, he earned it, you know. Maybe not a lot of people don't agree with that, but hey, that's okay. But uh, when he came back on Monday Night Raw for the first time and made that uh, statement, or his last, his farewell statement, should I say, uh, that, that, hit, that hit home. And um, then a few days later when, you know, he passed away, you know, and I was just like, whoa. I mean, that's, he went out the right way, you know. So, that being said, uh, when they announced this figure, I had to have it. I had to, because I have everything else, you know. Why Why not include this one? And, um, such an amazing figure. I, I, I want to open it, but then at the same time, I don't. So, I just figured I'd just go ahead and leave it in my own card. If I find another one, I'll open it, you know, do a review or something, but that's, that's, a, that's an amazing figure. <laughs> but anyways, um, but yeah, that's, that's my, um, that's my Ultimate Warrior collection. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, video as much as I did filming it. Just wanted to show y'all my love for the Ultimate Warrior, you know. And, yeah, it's just a great wrestler of all time. Anyways, comment down below what you think of this collection. What's your favorite part of this collection? You know, you have a favorite piece, favorite figure. I mean, do you collect Ultimate Warrior figures and stuff? Clothing wear? DVDs? Let me know in the comments below. And, a word of wisdom. Buy what you love and not what you like because you buy what you like. Always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.